This is Mario Central getting to the very root of this annoying siren noise and we are going to confront and solve and finally rid us of this evil noise. How dare you do this, Ian? How do- Oh, I didn't see that back there. What is this? And it's a HP up. Nice. I'll definitely probably use that on someone that kind of needs HP. Good. This disc has been scrubbed the whole data. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm still going with that voice. <laughs> I love that voice. Well, how did you get in without my notice? Oh, I see. Who must be the most talked about Wesley? Little did I expect to see you here. I'm in. I'm in charge of the Shadow Pokemon Lab. No one must be allowed to interfere with the Shadow Pokemon plan. I won't allow it. And I totally just changed my voice there. Let me equate you with the power of my Shadow Pokemon. I lost my voice. <laughs> in the middle of that, I was just like, man. For some reason, when I do that voice, like, let me equate you with the show power of my Shadow Pokemon. For some reason, my voice goes just so... I don't know. <laughs> it it kind of hurts doing that. I don't know why. Just for some reason, it's kind of awkward. It kind of like cuts off my breathing. I have no idea why. But it's like kind of have to like close up my throat in such a way that I sound like my nose is plugged like this. So I mean, I don't know. That's just <laughs> that's how I have to do his voice. It's kind of weird. And do uh, I kind of expected him to survive that? So that's okay. But this is Master Ian himself, the man of weird voices all around. I'd. <laughs> I can't give him one voice, and that's not good. Yeah, he's gonna use thunder unless I confuse him. Ha ha! Strategy! And Huntil did the same thing. Good job! He probably has Swift Swim, so he'll go first. Even with my Dragon Dance on, so that's okay. Uh, I guess I'll just confuse and just have him finish off Huntail. Damn it! Don't you dare do it on, uh... And he did all mischievous. Okay, I'm, I'm actually fine with that, because Perry I never trust. So that's okay, Pearl. You go and confuse Lantern. I'm pretty sure you can do it. And there goes Huntail. Not bad at all. Huntail is a funny Pokemon, actually. I don't really like him all that much. But he's not the worst thing in the world. <laughs> As I say most of the time. But he, he really isn't that bad. And there's his Altaria. Awesome. Let's see what it can do. <laughs> oh, baby. Good job, Pearl. To see, this is why you be confused instead of Perry. Because Perry pulls a Perry and you pull a Pearl which actually comes through in the clutch. Very nice parry indeed, very nice. And Lantern goes, that's very nice actually. Good luck for me, all right. That doesn't usually happen. And I'm probably just gonna attack Lantern and have him do Dragon Breath. I know it won't kill him, but I at least wanna do half. Which I'm pretty sure it will do, even though Altaria is defensive. Awesome. If only Dragon Breath and stuff was like a physical move, but it still isn't a physical move even to this day, but, uh, you know, it, it, I am going to teach Altaria Dragon Claw eventually when it gets Oh, it had Dice Beam! Woo! Alright, Perry! Didn't expect him to survive that. Awesome. That just shows you two sides of the coin right there. Perry has good defense, but at the same time has bad power. <laughs> so, you kind of have that, that thing, that mix, you know? Because that should, in any other Pokemon, if any other Pokemon had Ice Beam and used that, that would have killed me because Perry has a times, is times four affected by it. But, because Altaria doesn't have much power and because Altaria has good defense, he didn't die. So, that's it's kind of funny how that works. So there goes his, and ha ha ha, you didn't beat mine. You suck. And he has a gold bat. Okay. Go ignore it, Pearl. Yeah! Keep doing it, Pearl! Alright! You'll be the leader of my team. This is working out well. And Lantern, are you gonna... Oh, I almost got away with him confusing himself the whole time. But that's okay. Perry did his job. All I just really wanted him was to take out his Altaria, which I thought he was gonna start out with, but he didn't. So that's okay. He managed to kill two Pokemons. I'm quite fine with that. So I'll just get Potter to quickly come in here and hard hit some people. Uh, I think I just... I could probably just use Shadow Ball and yeah, that can work. <laughs> so I want Lantern finished. I don't think Shadow Ball is exactly going to finish him off because it's not that strong. But regardless, there goes his Lantern and that's good. That's a good thing. 
And now he is down to his last Pokemon, which we all know who it is by now, because we haven't seen him in my personal favorite of the three, and that is Raikou! Raikou is the last of the legendary beasts, and just like the other ones, at level 40, and he, he's actually pretty good. What my main problem with Entei is, is that he's just too balanced, and, I mean, that's nothing wrong being balanced, but sometimes it just doesn't help you out. He doesn't, he doesn't really have anything he's good at, which is unfortunate. Like, Suicune is defensive, but his main problem is he doesn't learn much. Raikou can learn, learn some good moves like Thunder and just abuse it because he's got amazing attack power. And he has good speed. So, again, one of my personal favorites, I always like Pokemon that can hit hard and hit fast. So, I've always been a fan of that. And now my Espeon is faster is because he's pretty much six levels over Raikou, and Golbat is kind of fast, but he's faster than Golbat. And darn it, Pearl, that's okay. You've been you've been helping me out throughout this whole fight, so I'm quite glad. All right, good thing that rain ended. Jeez, that was actually very nice that it ended at the same time he came out. Otherwise, he'd just be spamming that, and I'd be dying constantly because he's got immense power. I mean, even though Raikou isn't as defensive as the others, he still is a legendary, so I mean, he still is a little bit defensive, so you do have to watch out for that. And come on, at least one of you. Thank you. Oh, that's gonna help. Jeez, I needed that little HP boost there. Haha, <laughs> take that, Raikou. I love Pain Split. Too good to pass up. Alright, keep missing! This is the first time this is ever happening to me. And, oh, you know what, I'm going to attack Goldbat twice, because I just do not trust Potter to hit him right now, as I expected. Darn you, Potter, but at least Pearl will roll through the punches and do it again. Potter's dead, I think. You yeah, have no chance of surviving that because of its frail defense, but that's okay. Another time, Potter, another time. We'll just go with the Bullard. Have Raikou a little bit weakened, a little bit more weakened, obviously. I do not want it to be in green health to try to catch it. But I'm not trying to catch it either way. I'm not I'm gonna kill it. As I said, <laughs> that is kind of cruel. I'm going to kill it instead. But no, I will kill it now, and you know, I don't really want to catch it now. I am going to save it when I catch all the others. I could catch it now because, I mean, they're in good standing. I'm 46, 47, but. Uh, my parry's dead as well, and I really don't feel like spending the time now, so I'd rather catch him when I catch all the others, which is going to be at the other fights, when you fight them a second time around, so that'll be a lot of fun. Do, 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 do. These guys always take a while to catch regardless, and ooh, that's no good. But that's okay, to Bullard. You use Hyper Beam and finish the job! Yes, Veku! Good job! <laughs> I should rename him Veku, but I like to Bullard. <laughs> that pose looks so awesome. He just takes his time and then Kublast! This power, it defies belief! Nah, I totally just switched the voice because I uh, my voice is actually getting strained. Humph, your struggle target here was all in vain. The shadow Pokemon we produced have already been moved elsewhere. I'm gonna do it anyway. And that of course includes the ultimate shadow Pokemon I created for the boss. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like I'm clogging my nose at the same time and just putting on this weird voice. Let's see what he has. A Dutteram, not bad at all. And I believe there's something over here, and I'd actually like to know what TM this is. TM26, hmm. Oh wait, hold on a second. Sorry about that, phone rang, and I, now I want to check out what TM that is, it's Earthquake! Awesome TM, always a nice thing when you see this TM. Only one in the game, so use it wisely, which I'm not going to be using it now. I technically could use it for my Tobolard, but as I said, I plan on replacing him with someone else later, and I am saving it for him. <laughs> so, I won't be using it quite as yet, because there is only one in the game. Because, I mean, like the future Poke, which I like about the future Pokemon games, uh, the Generation 5, it always reuses the TM, which I don't mind, I like it, I don't mind it. And I kind of like Diamond and Pearl, how they always have almost every TM available for you to get back. Like, if you compete in the Battle Frontier enough, you can get enough points and get it back. So, I kind of like that, you know, it's not the worst. It, it's pretty good. That's why I kind of like the newer games, for that reason. And we've got a message, yay! We also, we already know where to take the data on, in case you didn't know. We have to take it to the under, but they send you an email just in case you couldn't figure that out. 
Because he goes like, hey, this is Ned. If you find any data at the Shadow Pokemon Lab, please bring it to me in the under. I'll be waiting. Which, I don't blame you if you don't remember, because it's been a while since we've seen him. So, I mean, you could have easily forgotten about that. But, you know, the instant I saw it, I'm like, oh, you gotta take it to Ned. It's the one time I actually thought. I was like, yay! Because <laughs> I don't blame you if you don't figure that out right away, because, you know, but it's a good thing they did that, because just to compensate for in case that you don't really think about taking it to him. No, we go back to the under for once, and we are actually almost done the game. We're very close. Not the let's play, but just the game. The first, I'd say, three quarters of the game. We are almost done. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna get them healed because they didn't heal me automatically. You suck. And they're good, right? Alright, so... I think I, uh, I think I'm good. I think I'll probably just have Vespion. Okay, I think I'll have Vespion and Perry pair off together. <laughs> that's that's kind of a funny saying. I'll have Espion and Perry pair off together. Lots of, or I should have said I should have Potter and Perry pair off together. Yeah, I should have said that instead. Darn it! Why can I never get used to the nickname? Oh well, we'll be getting over to the left eventually, but not for a while. <laughs> those those. This don't come for some quite some time, so that's okay. Let's talk to this guy. Hi, right, Wesley, did you meet up with that silver guy? Oh, I totally forgot about him. You were saying something about going to check out Realgum Tower. What is this Realgum Tower anyway? What is this guy? Okay, good. It's rotating the way it should. I actually forgot about Silva, but he does let himself out, so it's okay. <laughs> Isn't that kind? We don't have to do all the work for once. Yay! Let's go and talk to Bit. Or Ness, sorry. Oh, Wesley, how did it go? Did you find any data? Oh, now this looks interesting. Let's scope it out right away. And you can't move here. It looks like you can, but you can't. Oh, hey, this data ROM appears to contain a list of Shadow Pokemon that have been made so far. Ah, uh, but no, it looks like they've wiped the data. Wesley, please leave this with me. I'll somehow try retrieving information from this data ROM, even if it means going over it, li it little by little. Wesley, as soon as I discover anything, I'll email your PDA. Well, thank you, Net. <laughs> Quite a genius for doing all that decrypting and slowly raising up a union to fight. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's a pretty awesome childhood, I must say. <laughs> oh, they're missing out. But it's funny. I actually never really... I keep forgetting about Silva. I don't think you can actually... Oh, you know what I should do? And I'm probably going to go do that after. I'll get some more Hyper Potions and stuff from the shop. Probably some... Should I get some photo stores? Nah, I guess I'm good. There's not... Eh. <laughs> Damn, un uh, damn these decisions, I'll go anyway and get it. Hey, Yuki, come with me! No, don't stay on the stairs! And she magically appears. <laughs> every time. Yuki Ori, every time. You just can't resist me. Alright, so we'll get... Uh, I have a lot of money now. I mean, look at that. 113,000. That's not even really needed in this game, honestly. Unless you plan on getting, like, a bajillion Fire Blast and a bajillion Hyper Beam and Thunders and Blizzards, which I don't plan on doing, so... Just get a couple more revives. Heads up, you, although there is no Elite Four and Champion thing in this game, there is something very similar to it, and it's very cool for them to do it in that way. They actually do something very, very similar, and you're going to need your items. You should need their items. They're vastly overpowered. I must say, the last fights in this game, vastly overpowered. If you do playing this for the first time, you do not have any indication they're going to be that overpowered. So, it, trust me, it was a surprise to me that they were that overleveled. It was crazy. So that's why this time I'm preparing a bit more better, and it should make things easier on my part, because I went up to the last fight going in with level 40 Pokemon. Yeah, it was a pain. Let's just say that. But at least, not with this, you know, if you lose at any point, like say if you lose at any point in Leech 4, you go back to the start. You have to start back all the way. But if you lose at this point, you actually get to start off with the last trainer you face, unless you get, unless before you get to the final boss. If you do not get to him, then you have to start over. But if you get to him, then you can at least start off from him, which is nice. But you do lose half of your money, which always sucks, because money is not easy. It's not an easy thing to come in this game. And this is my favorite Pokemon theme, I think, of all time. I just love this song. <laughs> Listen to this now because you're not going to be able to listen to it for the rest of the game very much because it's mainly the cypher music. So just take a moment and listen to it right now. Isn't it magnificent? You got those swirling 
golden pseudo wudos with those crystal-like objects at the top. It just, it, it, I really like the setting of this place. It's so cool. And especially with this awesome music. It's just so boss. It's too bad they couldn't have it throughout the rest of the game, but in XD, you will constantly hear this music, so it's very nice. We've been expecting you. What? It's so good. But this is where we're going to be starting off the next series of episodes because this is going to be where we fight the Cypher Admins for a second time. As you can see, now you're just being replaced with Cypher Admin music. This sucks. And I think that leads to Cypher Admin, so I'm going to head back, actually. But before we come to Railgum Tower, I think I want to do the Under Coliseum first so that I can be a bit more experienced and then come here. So that is what we're going to do. But before we go, I think there's one trainer I just want to fight real quick, and that's him actually. <laughs> is it? I think it is. Well, let's talk to him. Old man? Old man? Uh, should I... Wait, I don't need to heal. What am I doing? Old man? Oh, we're having trouble, are we? Perhaps you're lost at the expense of this building. No? Oh, that's good to hear. Go with care. Wait. I have you lost an expense, yes. Oh, and I shall be happy to take you. Oh, where am I going to take you? Oh, oh well, since you ask, you deserve a reply. There we go. It is to your doom. <laughs> oh, how oh, forthright. He just comes right out and says it. It's to your doom. And he has a dust ox and grimer. Oh, that's not good. Because I have my espion out. That's not good for him. <laughs> Bowpen. That is a weird name. What did they come up with these things? I have a perfect party out. Awesome. This is actually the best thing. We just use Fire Blast and Side Beam. One hit KOs. This is perfect. Alright. <laughs> Bowpen. What kind of name is Bowpen? I'm sorry if your name is Bowpen, but that is just... It's an odd name. <laughs> Bowpen. <laughs> I'm gonna make fun of that name now. Good lord, Bowpen. And Survivor. Alright, so I had the right team out for this. This is perfect. One Fire Blast coming right up. And there she goes. <laughs> Alright, so Survivor should go down in one hit, no problem. This thing needs an evolution too, although sometimes it can be somewhat good. It just, it really does need an evolution. <laughs> just like many other Pokemon, but Generation 4 answered a lot of evolution needing Pokemon, but not enough. It did need a couple more. Bowpen, you lo you lost, haha, <laughs> Bowpen. Gah, so this is it. All right, guys, I think we're gonna end things off here as we finish that last trainer fight. So we're gonna continue at the Under Coliseum next time. So until then, this is Mario Central signing off.